stupid. <laughs> oh, I will never ever buy you. Oh my god, could it be after all these years? You shall be mine. <laughs>Welcome to Matt's B-Movie Reviews, a show that looks at cult films that may have escaped your radar. And have I got a treat for you this week? Oh yes! I'm looking at a true B-Movie that defies any logic or reasoning. A film that has followed me from DVD shop to car boot sale to charity shop. Just watching and waiting for that inevitable day when I would buckle and purchase it. So prepare yourself for my movie review of Bram Stoker's Legend of the Mummy 2. Whatever, here's the plot. Six archaeology students are spending their summer at an isolated compound with their professor. Lucky for them, an ancient mummy has recently been discovered and left in their care for further study. How exciting! <sighs> Unfortunately, the mummy is brought back to life by one of the students who just so happens to be the last living descendant of the ancient Aztecs, whose evil prophecy is to bring about the end of the world. <sighs> Yeah, right. Can the students stop the mummy before it's too late, or are they simply going to be added to the body count? Hmm, I wonder. Really? <laughs> now, firstly, I'm pretty sure that Bram Stoker never, ever, ever wrote this movie, and I can only pray that the estate of the late Stoker actually sued the producers of this monstrosity. I mean, talk about spinning in your grave. I'm surprised Bram hasn't risen like the mummy and gone after everyone who produced this piece of mummified crap. What about the characters, you ask? Hmm. Well, there are none. I mean, of course, there are human beings going around spouting dialogue that they read probably five seconds before the director shouted action. But I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence by pretending these are well-formed characters that deserve our attention in this movie. I mean, it just seems to be their job to wander around aimlessly for 85 minutes, saying stuff like, oh no, we'll be in trouble, and where's Scott? Ooh, no, no. Just get on with it and die. I mean, they might as well be saying Jinkies and go the whole Scooby-Doo route. In fact, I would have actually sooner watched one of the old Scooby-Doo 70s cartoons with the mummy in it, and it would have kept my attention for a hell of a lot longer than this did. Zoink, Scooby-Doo, buddy, old pal! Reggie? Reggie? <laughs> The film's also ultra low budget, which doesn't have to equal a bad movie, but in this case it just adds fuel to the bonfire. The actors just move from one bland room to another and with no sense of direction or logistical layout. What I mean is there's no establishing shots to tell us that so and so's room is over here and the main dorm or campus rooms are over here, so it just leaves you feeling annoyed and generally confused. One important bit of information that I've learned from this film is that mummies know how to turn on a shower. <sighs> Oh, how do I get these films? Now lastly, looking at the DVD itself, it's always a bad sign when they choose to use the same images over and over again on the front and back covers. It's a sure sign that the movie isn't worth your time or your money, and it never ceases to amaze me how many movies choose to go down this route. I had to laugh at the so-called animated menu, which is mentioned on the back of the DVD cover. Animated menu, you say? Wow! If used properly, it can add a cool twist on the old stationary image. Or does it? <sighs> Mind blown. It was almost like the mummy was winking at me, eh? Just, just, yeah. Wow. Pat yourself on the back, animators, because you've more than earned that paycheck for doing that. So my verdict on The Legend of the Mummy 2 is avoid, 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 avoid. So now I'm off to personally bury my copy of Legend of the Mummy 2 deep within the bowels of the earth where no one will ever find it. And if someone does, may God have mercy on their soul. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Entertaining to be honest. If you want to see a movie where a zombie after zombie is shot or blown up then this is probably going to be the film for you. I've also got to say that zombie makeup is pretty damn effective and scary in this film. 